Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to build a 1,000 horsepower rated 416 LS3 for a supercharged Chevy SS. For this build, we are starting with a brand new aluminum LS3 engine block as our foundation. We did upgrade it to ARP main studs, and because it's going to be making about 1,000 horsepower, we are running a full tri-metal bearing in the mains and the rods. Main bearing clearance on this guy is going to be 2.3 to 2.5 across all five, and we're running about the same, a little bit tighter on the rods, about 2.1 to 2.3. These are our Smetting H-beam power adder 6125 4340 raged with our 1,000 horsepower Icon piston. I really like these pistons because they have a thermal anodized barrier on top, a stainless top ring, Naper second, and a trend 180 thick wall wrist pin. For the money, these are a super, super nice piece, and we run these in pretty much every build around 1,000 horsepower. Of course, we're going to run our Smetting 4-inch stroke. It's a 4340 forged crankshaft, 58X reluctor wheel. We're doing a billet timing set with a roll bearing on the back. These roll bearings help reduce internal friction in the engine and also give it a little bit more support and strength as it runs against the thrust plate. All of our high performance wet sump builds, we run a Melling 10295 oil pump. And this is a standard volume pump, but we have the option to swap it to a Copo high pressure spring. The LS two galley oil architecture already has substantially higher volume than is actually necessary. One of the things that DART changes is they reduce the volume. And that's in a high performance, crazy aftermarket block. So in any build, we stick with a standard volume pump with a H-beam rod because the rod's not gonna flex. We're not having a lot of rod bearing distortion. And so standard volume pump is more than adequate, but we want the high pressure because it's gonna turn a lot of RPM. Motor's gonna run a custom blower camshaft. And everything has already been blueprinted and balanced, so it is time to start stuffing the beast. Plot twist. Allergies. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you, Mom?
do it. <laughs> The short block is now complete for this 416 cubic inch LS3. He's going to run our Gatorman Link Bar Hydraulic Roller Lifter. So those will go in next. We've already got our deck height measured so I can now order the correct thickness head gaskets from Kometic to give us the quench that we want for the supercharged combination. And then once those come in, we'll finish assembling the full long block and catch you guys up on part two. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.